call that CD. You're damn right we're lonesome. That's right. There's a good reason for it. Turns out we found out why the toilet paper was on the stage here, because they couldn't afford Kleenex, and it's for the tears, you know, many tears might fall. For the, the tear jerker songs that we do. Yes, indeed, and so uh, if you feel the need, and we don't mean the, we mean the Kleenex, you need not the toilet paper. Just feel free. You get Thomas in his bowl of uh, paper towels back there. Okay. I really want to thank Pace, though, for having us today. They do good works. They will over in TV, of course. Yeah. Our buddy Sharon and Sharon Levinson. Band of Productions. Klondike. Klondike, they didn't happen. Especially this part. Hey, what happened? They gagged my monitor. <laughs> Gag strip of ground. Yeah, that's so you can't break it again. <laughs> it's muffling the sound. Okay, this is this is the set where all hell breaks loose, the dancing happens, and everything like that. Again, just to point out the dance floor for safety's sake. Right here, behind uh, behind Diane, and in front of uh, Aaron. And uh, in front of the stage here, not this chair. That's it. That's the dancing spot yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah. And if Sammy moves out of that area, there appears to be room for a couple right behind Charles here. So, there you go. Doesn't get much more exciting than that. You guys know Swamp Town Girl? I'm uh, sorry. Never heard I couldn't really understand that. <laughs> That's another band. <laughs> yeah, you do.
see the other people you know are on there and you, you know move off because you see those people all the time you don't want to chat with them on myspace anyway, i ran into this poet on myspace and she's just prolific and like, i don't know what else to say about it she's pretty good too most some of the time not all the time but some of the time but she's prolific she's a, she's some kind of third grade teacher i'm not really sure but she's got kids and a family and then she cranks out you know two or three poems a day and change their music and she's just on some kind of amphetamines or something, I'm not sure. She lives in Cincinnati and her name's Amy and... Yeah, and so I got a song and that's all I, you know, that's all I really care about. songwriting abilities just uh, go on and on and on. I think they're working on probably their sixth or seventh disc now and the quality of the songs just keep getting better and better and um, I never thought it, I'd say this but uh, the more I see them play um, the tighter they get and uh, just their, their um, 
uh, abilities uh, as musicians just keep getting better too. So uh, it's just amazing that uh, they are that are not a nationwide phenomenon. Um, I guess they're just uh, too good. Can I get a couple of bucks off? Basically, money. you know I Basically, they're the best band in the world. So are they not best band in the world? You know, I and wish I knew these people. I wish I knew these people personally coffee. because it's if I knew these incredible. people, I mean, I, these are the kind of people I should get to know. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen the Lost right. Brothers? I have. Uh, <laughs> no, they pay us to be your friends. I'm going to hang out here because I can hear through the walls. Is it yeah. true that you guys They're played in Devon? <laughs> yes, we played in Devon. 13. We played at 13. Well, why not just 10? <laughs> we played at 13 and a half. And they even like throw monitors off of stages. What? Oh, we got any interviewing questions going on? What happened? Gotta go feed the dogs. Get a shot of this. They got two new dogs. Wait, what kind of those are they? Black labs or yellow lab? Yellow labs. We're gonna see them this week. That's gonna be great. Right. <laughs> We're after you feed them, come back. Don't worry, come back. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Bye. Take care. The interview part of me, I don't think you interviewed some people during the break, I think. Right? Did you see me? Do you have enough footage interest? to make, make, an, make an interesting Get show? Get the Elliot Spitzer stuff? Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of this one, Rick? I don't know how it goes until I hear this. <laughs> I don't know how it goes even after I hear the tune. Appreciate it, it's called.
of you. somebody totally different. Right. But then he kind of still agreed that he wanted us to play there. Sure. He thought, I mean, I don't know why he would. And then what happened? And then finally, at the end of the conversation, I decided to ask him, well, what are the hours? And when do you want us to play? Well, we want you to play from 7.30 to about midnight. <laughs> and I said, uh, what? He said, 7.30 to midnight. I said, yeah, we don't do that. Said, you don't do that? I said, no, it's four and a half hours. <laughs> uh, we do a three hour stretch, you know, over a period of time, 9 to 12, 8 to 11. A couple so, of weeks. A couple know, of weeks we played three hours. Yeah. That was, that was the end of it. That was the end of it. That's it. We're not going to Connecticut. That's how we started this. So it was, cl it was close. Very close. Years ago, we used to go down, remember we used to go down to Villa Rose in Windsor? East yeah. yeah. Oh, beautiful place. Linda remembers the Villa Rose. Yep, it's right near the airport. They had that broken airplane in the bar. Yeah. Simsbury. Simsbury, no, never been there. But you know, the Bill Rose had duck pin bowling down in the south. They summer. did, underneath? Duck pin, yeah. Underneath. Hey, that's the end of our time, so thanks for coming, really. <laughs> Can you edit some of this for the documentary? Just to cut out the, out the, slow, the slow parts. <laughs> Tom reminded us we did play Simsbury and it was a big problem and people were overdressed. <laughs> never got back. We're never going. We're not. We're not going. Like that. Yeah. Tom, we did play in Simsbury. Yes. Yeah. The lobster place. Yeah. You never oh, the fish lobster place. Fish the, yep. Yeah. You never played lobster. <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad of a gig until the end of the end of it. Yeah, wasn't there a problem? It was a problem.
very much. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you very much for coming out and for listening to these songs. Sandra, you can live here in Palm Bay. That's why we left it out of our set tonight. How many Irish songs we got anyway? Uh, none, I don't think. That's right. So we left all of those out of our show totally so that our friends, you know, they were down 11. And, 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 what happened? Do we have songs? Holy That's right. So we got two songs about, we got one about the parade and one about Holyoke itself. We got, we got, we got the shit. We're going to do it right now. It's a St. Patrick's Day weekend. Parade Sunday.
proper seat uh, there. Eric Fritz, your uh, Lonesome Brothers correspondent, in interviewing JC, uh, daughter of uh, Jim Armento. So, JC, what was it like growing up to the daughter of a Lonesome Brother? I should sad. They were lonesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you more, huh? No, it was pretty fun. Yeah, you know, get to go awful places. The musicians were always coming in and out of the house. And, um, it was a pretty cool experience. And I was always surrounded by music. It was very rewarding. It still is. That's why I'm behind here right now. And I got in free tonight. How so. old are you when they uh, and she came out with sick. their first album? Um, oh, good question. I think, did this come out in 98? Yeah. Did that come out in 98? I've been 10. So I was 10 when it first came out. And were you impressed by the project? No, I wasn't really aware of it. Who was your Who was your favorite band when, in 1998 when you, when your father put out his first album? The Beatles. The Beatles were my favorite. The Beatles. Yeah, yeah. Beatles. I love John Lennon. I'm not familiar with their work. Tell me more. <laughs> They got, they got a teacher training in here from midnight to five in the morning. <laughs> so they got to make as much money as you can on the fruit.
Keinen gemeint.